Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Fikri bin Muhammad Noor. I'm from 6BME1. So good evening to my friends and to our lecturer, Sir Suhairini. So today I will talk about the future of airline after post-COVID. So what is this? So what is the content that I will share about? So the first one is the introduction, current issue, future economic part slash conclusion. So for the first one, that is the introduction. So it's tough to overestimate how much the COVID-19 outbreak has wreaked havoc on airplanes. Revenue in the business are expected to reach 328 billion in year 2020 representing around 40% of the previous year's total. In nominal terms, this is the same as it was in year 2000. The industry is anticipated to shrink in the next year with traffic not expected to return to 2019 levels until year 2024. So this is the chart. We can see the global economic impact in brief. So from year 2020 to year 2022, so the seat offered, passengers flown and airline revenues loss are decreasing. Year to year, they are decreasing. So it's, uh, it means it will, uh, year to year, it will increase in airline revenue and passenger flow will increase, seat offered will increase. So moving on to the current issue nowadays. So due to travel limitation and a drop in demand, the COVID-19 epidemic has hurt the aviation sector. Lowered passengers numbers has, have led to flight cancellation and empty planes flying between airports, which has reduced airline profit and pushed many to lay off workers or declare bankruptcy. Some have avoided cancelling vacations to reduce losses. Airlines and airports have laid off workers. Early year 2020 statements say the epidemic was already the deadliest in aviation history. Moving on to the future, what will happen in the future? So we got three points here. So the first one is leisure trip will fuel the recovery. Number two, staggering debt level will lead to ticket price increases and a larger role for government in the sector. Aircraft market may be oversupplied for some time to come. So the first one is business. Uh, the first one is leisure, tri leisure trips will fuel the recovery. That is business travel will rebound more slowly, reaching pre-pandemic levels of 80% by year 2024. After the epidemic, people will take fewer businesses, travel and maintain remote and flexible work in prior crisis. Leisure travel to visit to friends and family rebounded first, like in the UK after 911 crisis and the global financial crisis. After the World Trade Center attacks, uh, businesses trips took four years to return to pre-crisis levels. By year 2020, they still had an recovered to pre-financial crisis level. As the pandemic fade, we expect leisure travel to outperform business travel. Next, staggering debt levels will lead to ticket price increases and a larger role for government in the sector. So many airlines have borrowed significant sums to stay afloat and cover daily cash burns rates. Using state aid credit lines and bond in switch in Sweden, the, the industry occurred more than one, accrued more than 180 billion in debt in year 2021, or more than half of yearly sales. Still growing debt, worsening credit scores, and greater financing expenses make repayment tougher. Costs must be recovered, ticket costs may rise. Our estimation suggests a 3% increases in ticket costs, assuming a 10-year repayment window for additional debt. When air travel demand recovers, uh, 
supply may be insufficient, uh, latent travel demand is high, it will take time for airlines to rebuild capacity and bottlenecks like aircraft return delays and staff retraining might cause a supply demand gap and higher short term prices. So as we can see the graph, it, it the debt is increasing from year to year. So uh, the third point is aircraft market may be oversupplied for some time to come. So in the year before COVID, aircraft OEM ramp up production in the anticipation of continued growth. This has led to a glut in aircraft availability. Furthermore, some carriers have returned relatively new aircraft to lesser, such as Norwegian Air Shuttle when it exited the long haul market. Prices for used aircraft leases have plummeted and are likely to remain lower. For instance, the monthly lease rate uh, 2016 vintage Boeing 777 300ER aircraft was around 1.2 million in 2019. In year 2020, the rate fell to less than 800,000. New aircraft are rumored to be available at even deeper discount. So moving on to the economic part or the conclusion of this topic. Uh, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic is far from over. There is some relief to be found in various parts of the world now that vaccination has begun. But the road to recovery for air traffic will take several years. The shape of the post-COVID-19 airline sectors is becoming clearer and whole lesson for airlines today. Multiple longer running trends have been accelerated, such as digitization and the phasing out of less efficient aircraft. Burdened by debt, many carriers have depleted their cash reserve. But the forecast is not without bright spots. Travel will become greener and more efficient, and people are itching to travel again for holidays. Taking step now will help airlines thrive in this transform sector. That's all for me. Thank you.